Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing good. In today's video, we will be discussing about biomedical engineering and its various career prospects. So we will be understanding what is the eligibility to do biomedical engineering, how biomedical is different from biotechnology, what are the job opportunities that are available uh, that you can pursue after doing your uh, degree and what are the salary insights and what kind of companies can you join in. So we will be discussing about all these things in this video. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So what exactly is biomedical engineering? Biomedical engineering is basically the application of engineering principles and design concepts to medicine and biology for healthcare purposes. Biomedical engineers work on developing various medical equipments, medical devices and software for patient care. Right, then what is the difference between biomedical and biotechnology? Because most of the times I see people get confused between biotechnology and biomedical, right? So biomedical is basically the application of engineering principles to medicine and biology, wherein you basically work to develop medical equipments or medical devices or softwares. In the case of biotechnology, you learn more about living organisms and how those organisms can be used in various industries. So it can be pharmaceuticals, it can be chemicals, it can be food processing. So a lot of fields wherein you work on developing the microorganisms or the living organisms to improve the products. Right? So that is exactly what biotechnology means. So mostly people who go to biotechnology or that domain usually involve themselves in pharmaceutical companies or food processing companies wherein they work with microorganisms and it's, it's more involved with genetics, genomics and all these things. Right. So the basic difference is if you are pursuing biomedical, you work with medical equipments or research and development or patient care or developing new medical devices, wherein if you are going to biotechnology, you are involved in more towards working with microorganisms and developing pharmaceutical products or developing drugs or developing different uh, preservatives that is involved in food industry and various other things as well. So I think you got a basic understanding between, between biomedical and biotechnology. So what is the eligibility criteria if you want to do biomedical engineering, right? So usually when you think about engineering, you think there is maths that is involved, there is physics chemistry that is involved so basically biomedical is slightly different right if you want to pursue biomedical engineering after your 12th standard then basically you should have a science background it can be biophysics chemistry it can be biophysics chemistry and maths and it can also be maths physics chemistry so biomedical engineering is a more open field for the people coming from science background so if you want to pursue BTEC that is engineering degree in biomedical then it is it is a four years course and you should have a science background either physics chemistry bio or maths right a combination of any of these three subjects so what are the various career opportunities in biomedical engineering right biomedical engineering has wide range of career opportunities in the field of medical devices research and development healthcare pharmaceuticals as well right and some of the job that you can expect after doing biomedical engineering are basically like biomedical engineer medical equipment designer clinical engineer and biomechanical engineer bio instrumentation engineer biomedical researcher bioinformatics engineer field service engineer service engineer right so all this various opportunities is what you can expect after you finish your btech in biomedical sciences or biomedical engineering so now talking about the salary part, right? What kind of salary can you expect once you're done with your biomedical degree and what is the kind of pay scale that you can expect as a fresher, right? So the starting salary for a fresher in biomedical engineering in India is around three to four lakhs per annum. However, the salary can vary depending on the organizations you work for and the kind of specialization you have and also the level of expertise that you have. And talking about abroad opportunities in the US, the average salary for a fresher with biomedical engineering degree is around 91,000 US dollars, right? So that is a huge difference between the Indian market and the market abroad. So yeah, that is about the salary insights. Now finally talking about what kind of companies you can join as a biomedical engineer. So you can join companies like Medtronic, Siemens, Johnson & Johnson and Baxter, Optum 
and uh, there are there are there are a lot of companies striker about so plenty of opportunities out there but you have to make sure you have the right skills to qualify to these job opportunities right so in conclusion biomedical engineering is an exciting field with a lot of opportunities and if you have a passion for science and technology right if you want to work in the medical industry so if you if you are a neat aspirant if you wanted to be a doctor and unfortunately you didn't get through then maybe biomedical is an opportunity which you can think of wherein you work in the medical industry but using the principles of engineering and you come up with uh, a dynamic solution for different medical related problems you can develop medical devices medical components equipments you can develop softwares for patient care so plenty of opportunities out there so if you are someone who is interested to do or explore this kind of field then maybe biomedical engineering is what is meant for you so i hope this video was helpful for you if you liked the video please make sure you are liking the video commenting your opinions about the video and share it with your friends who are little bit confused about pursuing biomedical engineering as a career stream right see you in the next video till then stay safe stay home and learn